Today, I'm going to show you how to install a dividing plate kit on a Vertex rotary table. The rotary table I'm using today is a Vertex HV6, being the 6 inch or 150mm model. This process appears to be the same for all the larger Vertex rotary tables, and I'm sure other similar rotary tables. The parts that come with the kit are the dividing plates, crank handle with indexing pin, the selector, or as I call them the clock arms, a retaining clip, and screws for the dividing plates. I also think you need a washer, which wasn't included with the kit. The tools you require for this are a Phillips screwdriver and an Allen key. I've also grabbed a spanner, as I'm going to fit my collet chuck. Before we continue with the install, we need to know which dividing plate we're going to install. For this we'll need the indexing table, which is specific to the rotary table, depending on the worm gear ratio. Today I want 19 holes, so the table tells me I need 19 divisions, which is on plate A, and I'll need to rotate the crank handle 4 times, and 14 of the 19 divisions. The first step is to remove the allen key bolt and the handle. This will then allow us to pull the handle off, which might be a bit snug if it hasn't been off before. As you remove the handle, there's a key in the shaft. Make sure you collect this and put it away for safekeeping. It's not required with the dividing plates, but you need it when you go to put the handle back on. The first part to install is the dividing plate. This kit comes with three sizes. Vertex call plate A, B and C. And today I'm installing plate A as per the table for my 19 divisions. This is then fixed in place with three Phillips head screws. Next part to install are the selector arms. These help with selecting the correct number of holes and just slip on to the shaft. The retaining clip is then slid into place on a groove in the shaft. This is where my washer comes into place, spacing out the crank arm. The crank arm can then be set up to suit the right number of holes. Today I'm setting up for 19, so it's the second row of holes. The screw and washer removed at the beginning are now used to fix this in place. Now we can set up the selector arms. For my setup, I need 14 holes. So I count out the 14 holes on the second row, and then I can tighten the screw to lock it in place. These selector arms provide a quick reference for how many holes you need to move, and if you use them right, it should avoid you miscounting the holes. The final part of my install is to install the collet chuck, but you may choose to use a 3 or 4 jaw chuck, depending on what you're using it for. So as you can see, Although the pile of parts that comes with this kit may seem a little daunting at first, they all go together really quickly and easily. If you want to see this in action, check out my video, Cutting Gears. Also check out my series, The Fell Engine Project, where I'm building a 3.5 inch gauge live steam locomotive to my own drawings. Thanks for watching, catch you next time.